On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So today marks the first official Back to school day, right across the length and breadth of Jamaica. So blessings to the regular ones and ones them out there who traversing to school or nation's most vulnerable. Please, people, adults out there, look after our nation's most valuable whilst on the street. Remember, it takes a village to raise a child. We now tell us if we discipline nobody pitney now, you know. But look out for the youth, them na the streets, and make sure say them a do the right and anybody we are do the wrong, definitely just gently correct them so that them stay on the straight and narrow. So we're gonna kick it off this morning and now my peeps over there in the parish that we know as the bread basket. Yeah man, we are talking about the parish of Saint Elizabeth. Some affectionately call it St. Bess, but I've repeatedly stated on this program that St. Bess is slowly becoming St. Worse. Yeah, man. So we're going to talk about a robbery. We're going over there in Jointwood, St. Elizabeth. Sometime between the hours of 12.30 to 1.30 a.m. You don't know say that in the wee hours of Sunday morning. So the robber go on over the weekend. The robber go on at this popular spot here. Right now on your screen. And boy, it really set away when you have persons out there who have been working tirelessly for many years and try to come up with some sort of business so you don't know them have them like a old age pension can live off of them hard work what them put in whilst they were younger and if you say you work so hard and build your business up from scratch and some old dirty kind of boy out there we don't want to look work we don't want to build an empire for themselves but willing to come tear down your own just come take your stuff so and them just get to scotch free. Far too long we have been suffering under the hands of these criminal elements. So on your screen is a robbery in progress at that business establishment in Jointwood, St. Elizabeth. You can see where the criminal elements them break into the place and use them tools for break off the game boxes off of the walls and escape with them. You don't know how the criminal them do it and how them go thief them game box there and go sell them back to somebody else and posing as legitimate businessmen or use these game boxes to start businesses of their own. Yeah man. Now on your screen is another video of the criminal element. We're kind of glad, said the criminal, did come try to shift the camera somewhat. And whilst he was doing so, we managed to capture a decent enough picture of the criminal element. So on your screen is one of the two. His name has not yet been ascertained. So we are now asking you, the regular members of Chan Public, who can identify this criminal element here. He is most definitely wanted 
by the St. Elizabeth police. So if you don't know that face here, yeah, he's one of the two that broke into that business establishment and stole game boxes. So please, if you know him, say something. Because who knows? Your business place or your family's business place just may be next on their list. So anyway, my peeps, make we continue. And still in the parish of St. Elizabeth, a 23-year-old man identified as Dandre Pantan. He's of a lover's lane address in Newtown, St. Elizabeth has been charged with the knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of a man known as Kevin James, otherwise known as Scooter, said to be a chef of Brigade Street in the parish of St. Elizabeth. So the Black River Police have reported that sometime about 11.45 p.m. on Friday, June 23, Pantan and Jones had an ongoing dispute that became physical. It is alleged that Jones left the area after the fight, but he was later pounced upon by Pantan and another man traveling in a white Toyota Axio motor vehicle. They opened gunfire at Jones who ran. It is said that Pantan and his accomplice chased Jones and can him up all over his body several times. So on Thursday, August 29th, Pantan was arrested and subsequently charged with the knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of Jones. And he was also charged with conspiracy to the knockings and clappings and aiding and abetting to the knockings and clappings. Pantan's accomplice is also being sought by the police. So if you don't know the man who accompanied Dandre Pantan, if you go carry out the knockings and clappings there off Mr. Jones, please give the police that necessary bit of information. Yeah, man. And this morning, my peeps, it is with great regret to bring to you another sad loss of life. And this time, it was perpetrated against a 61-year-old woman by her own 25-year-old daughter. So reports reaching on the Spot News Media is that a 25-year-old woman who reportedly suffers from a mental illness type of condition is suspected to have used a knife to inflict several wounds to her 61-year-old mother who basically lost her life during that altercation. It took place in a community known as Brian's Peace in Clarendon on Sunday. The deceased woman has since been identified as Mary Abbott. She's also of a Brian's Peace address. So the Frankfield police stated that sometime about 2.30 p.m., both women were at home when a dispute developed between them. It is alleged that during the dispute, the suspect, which is the 25-year-old daughter, used a knife to inflict several wounds to her mother's upper body. The suspect then later turned herself in at the Frankfield police station and made a report. When the police arrived at the home, Miss Abbott's body was seen on its back with several wounds all over the upper body. The body of Mary Abbott was however transported to the hospital then to the morgue after it was officially pronounced you know what. Now my peeps, is this 25 year old really a mental patient? Because the official police report clearly stated that she went to the Frankfield police station and made the report of the incident that resulted in the loss of life of her mother. That definitely seemed to be what a sane person with a conscience would have done. So I don't know, probably I'm wrong, 
But this person yeah, not really seem insane in my view. But anyway, make we continue. On your screen is a cab driver who has since been identified only by his alias as Stress. Now, this man's life was taken over the weekend because he failed to pay over extortion monies to criminal elements over there in the Rakal community of St. Anjo. Now, this is definitely a worrying trend because we as Jamaicans have allowed this hustle mentality to become a norm in our society and now it has become a plague to us the regular members of chan public to the fact that we are now losing our lives if we do quote unquote allow the youths them for hustle now the jamaican society you see when a thing is small and is not hurting anybody, we seem to turn a blind eye to it instead of nipping it in the bud and looking at the bigger picture in the future. And that is what had happened or is happening to this so-called hustle mentality. It started from innocent load of men one and ready two and gone whatever the case may be and you give them a little thing and it had stepped up from that whilst that is already in place and still in place still there it has now stepped up where it is no longer you using your conscience for give a man a thing. It is now a demand. It's a must that you pay. And this is happening right across the length and breadth of Jamaica. And what we don't understand that these monies that we are willingly and not so willingly coughing up and giving over to these so-called hustlers. Those monies are being used to finance gangs right across from Moran Point to Negril Point. It's happening. Now, we are becoming the victims of such because we are the ones that allowed it to reach to the levels that it is presently and we are the only ones that can help to tear these criminal empires down so we need a collective effort between the police and citizens the police and the commuters the police and business owners we need that collective effort to tear some of these criminal empire down. And I know it is easier said than done because we have seen the Klansman gang trial and how all of that has played out to the fact where a crown witness now have to come publicly and exposing the government's tardiness in handling his witness that definitely put some of Jamaica's most notorious criminals behind bars. So I do understand. And this is where it comes now, it boils down to us as the citizens of Jamaica to take a serious stand and hold these government officials, both the elected government and the opposition responsible for taking actions against these criminal elements and do the unpopular thing and 
actually put a serious dent in crime. But I've always stated this, that both political divides, the JLP and the PNP, is not entirely interested in fighting crime. Because the same criminal elements that is preying upon me and you, the regular members of Chan Public, is the very same criminal elements that they, the JLP and PNP, is depending on to secure them their votes in these coveted political garrisons. But this is for a whole another topic. But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.